<laughs> yeah, and of course, Thomas Rose is also back with us. So he already is in one of these top eight spots. Of course, after winning YCS Düsseldorf 1, he's yeah. one of the top contenders for the World's Point race. And now he's doing super well at the German Open too. And as we said earlier, winning this event today could actually bring him more points than his win at YCS Düsseldorf. So we have Sky Strikers versus Danger August combo. <laughs> Yeah, wait, is that, oh, oh, what, why is, that why is, is, so why is that, what happens there, why is that, <laughs> no, this is not his deck, I'm that's pretty not sure a that hand. This, that's uh, not really happening, why, nope. why is, but I mean, there are more settlement grade cards I than tricks. there are, yes, Thomas Rose is playing in Germany, he's actually now a German guy, yep, and you call him Thomas Rose now, yeah, <laughs> that, that's how you say it, Thomas, Thomas Rose, yeah, to Thomas Rose, yeah, yeah, deutsches commentary, yeah, 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 he's named after my father, who's also called Thomas. Oh, really? Yeah, really, really. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like it is uh, Salomon Grade now. They decided on Salomon Grade right there. Yeah, and this is an awesome hand. Yeah, yeah. Sh should I keep on doing this the whole game? If you like to, sure. No, I think I, I cannot I'd, stop you. I'd love to. <laughs> so, Buffalo, after searching probably the spinny with the circle yeah because it's just such a nice discard for yeah, the buffalo of course that is broken like like we have talked about the matchup and how it is stri uh, favoring the um uh, striker deck yeah but with that start with spinny like even circles into spinny gazelle and buffalo also al uh, already having like all the <laughs> he searched jaguar okay so by the way the hands the cards in hand are switched. Thomas yep. Rose is in fact playing the Orcus Danger deck. Oh, there is he the isn't Ash. playing Sky Striker. Why did I say that? Just because I thought saw the engage. I'm an idiot. Again. Yeah, like Thomas Rose is playing the engage, the Sky Striker card, of course. Engage said one card. Danger Orcus combo. Um, obviously without the danger, just the Orcus combo by activating engage, searching the drones, summoning Kagari, add back drones. Party, party. Party, party. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Deutschland. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know whether you're allowed to say that like that, but <laughs> okay. I'll not interrupt you. <laughs> so this is set up for, I mean, actually called by the grave is so strong against Orcos. It really hurts to discard this or to activate this just to bone the ash blossom. Yep. That's true. But he's, oh, he goes Dweller. That's even better. Honestly, Ooh, yeah, honestly, dweller, yeah. honestly, opening Dweller is much better than having one called. Yeah. That is surely true. I mean, <laughs> it's like exactly what Herman is <laughs> saying in the, uh, uh, Herbert <laughs> is saying in the chat. Like he, he also, this is like such a good hand. Honestly, it's crazy. Uh, he searched the Jaguar, of course with the circle. So he has a second level four monster. Yep. Is the coffee totally tasty? How, how do you know I'm drinking coffee? Did you, did you hear that? <laughs> I'm sorry guys, if you can hear my ASMR coffee drinking, that is like, uh, I, I really don't want you guys to go to have to go through that. <laughs> I mean, we're telling the viewership that we're drinking coffee <laughs> round by round. So they probably can uh, tell, I guess, yeah. but we're, we're getting, we're kind of getting out of coffee. So and I posted it on Instagram, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to, to give a shout out to you on Instagram now or what? <laughs> yeah. Follow Leonard Koenig on Instagram. Like I have no idea what, what kind of stuff, but yeah, <laughs> do it. It's, it's, I'm such an in influencer. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I am one of your biggest fans on Instagram. This Sven playing Econ. I have no idea if he's playing Econ, honestly. Yeah, obviously we do not have the deck list because the deck lists are located in Cologne and we are sitting in Magdeburg right now. And also like, how could we prepare for like 622 deck lists? <laughs> Looks a lot like my Atlanta list. Dude, he just activated like basic, <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just played basic Salomon like, grade cards. It kind like of looks like your list, one, honestly. Yeah. Oh, he's playing Gazelle, called by the Grave, and Jack Jaguar. This is, I think he stole my list. Yep. Must be a net decker, for sure. Um, to FXNN361, we're not making like, we're not advertising private Instagram here. So uh, please <laughs> definitely refrain from posting stuff like that. <laughs> by the way, follow me. 
Oh yeah. So <laughs> the very unusual dweller turn one that really must be a net deck there. He also <laughs> net deck the extra deck. It's insane. So he starts off with engage, which is kind of a nice card to have when your opponent has dweller, of course. Yeah, but I mean, like probably Sven just got like a short heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Because he was like, I made Dweller against Thomas Rose, and oh, the game is over. Sven de Revries outskilling Thomas Rose right here. By summoning the, the Abyss Dweller. Insane. <laughs> Better player always wins in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Not, not saying Sven is bad here, not, not ironically not stating that he's a great what player. Is, but it, it was a, a funny op situation. Opening, yeah. yeah. So, like, Salomon Great can also build up unbreakable boards. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I don't know whether uh, using the card sports league code in the Fortnite store will, will get you anywhere, but of course you can right. try. <laughs> but uh, you're better off just uh, subbing here so you are sub of the channel, and then you have access to yeah. all these cool emotes. Maybe our operator can just spam all of them into the chat so you can see how many cool emojis we have. So in case you did not see them yet, you will be seeing them in a moment. <laughs> yeah, and of course, uh, oh, I think we've got to be a big spam. Yep. <laughs> be ready for Yeet. it. Yeah, and in case you don't know, um, if you are having, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can Because just... you're a student like us. Yep. And then it's basically free. I mean, I'm not a student, I'm an influencer, but still. Go ahead. <laughs> You're both a student and an influencer. Didn't want to interrupt you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can actually get a Twitch Prime sub for free. So make sure to use it for our Castbots League account. Yeah, you will get amazing content. Yeah, content. And weekly content. emotes. And yeah, weekly content, like like twice or thrice a week. Yep. We're together for the third time this week already. We had yeah. a podcast on, on Tuesday where we had uh, a beautiful talk with... Uh, Merlin Schumacher. Schumacher, who talked a lot about food and wine. Yep, that's just that was like a lifestyle talk in some yep. way, but like how you combine good lifestyle with playing Yu-Gi-Oh a lot, like traveling for to a Yu-Gi-Oh event, but still enjoying the event with your friends and doing stuff outside of Yu-Gi-Oh, and and yeah, just go to YouTube and then check out the podcast, and you will hear it. So yeah. It's better than just <laughs> listening to us talking about it. Yeah. Next week, we're going to feature Erkin Aydin, the owner of Team E-Man. Yeah, spoiler alert. Right Unless he forgets. <laughs> if you're listening, Erkin, don't forget it. You're, you're on Tuesday. I'm, yep. I'm serious. That's true. Yeah, um, the event today is not a two-day event. We will be finishing the event today. Nine rounds of Swiss. We are in round seven right now. So, so the players can't be 7-0, right? That is absolutely correct, yeah. yeah. That score is wrong. They are 6-0 right now. I and wish our operator heard us talking. <laughs> because the players can't be 7-0 and in round 7. That's right. In case you're wondering why um, Leo is screaming, <laughs> he just <laughs> wanted to inform our operator, which is uh, uh, who is sitting with us in the room. Don't say that. Nobody realized. Mm. That was really sneaky. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, Dario is saying that Merlin is one of the nicest person yeah. in Yu-Gi-Oh, and that's actually true. Merlin is he so really amazing. is super nice, and it was a nice talk. So check that out for sure. And yeah, on so, uh, no, Thursday, obviously, we were live for yeah. the Ultimate God Cup. Yeah, that is true as well. With our first round of top sixteen, quite the generous sponsor, I gotta say. Definitely, yeah. We got some nice material from them. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. You can check check that out on our Facebook page. Right, you did an a really nice unboxing there. You really yeah. presented the product well. Yeah, I said that the boulder box was hard. That was basically... Damn, that hand! <laughs> Which one? Phantasme, Ash, Lancea, Valor, Gazelle. Okay, now I know what, <laughs> which hand you're talking about. <laughs> Just drop the damn thing on Kagari, dude, honestly. <laughs> Oof. Okay, he's not. Like, which one? Vader? No, Phantasma. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is a big oof, like, really. <laughs> that hand really is so insane. So, Vader on the mermaid? So you 
better that apparently. Looks like it. Why does he? Okay, so yeah, he's he, he's he's revealing the phantasma. So chaining one Valor, chaining two phantasma. I think I would have ashed that. Yeah, probably. ash in case of call, so you can still chain the uh, effect Valor. But also jackalope shall be activated. <laughs> But looks like, looks like he he missed on he missed out on that. Oh no! Now he's doing it. <laughs> For a second, I was wondering, but it seems fine. Seems fine. <laughs> really drawing four hand traps against Danger August is pretty nice, right? Yeah. Must must feel good. I mean, he still has Lancea as a backup. That's just so nice. I, Thomas Rose, shall not forget to activate Jackalop. <laughs> yeah. Um, Thomas Rose probably has a special relationship to Danger Jackalope. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, no, I don't probably think so. Probably Jonas, Jonas Korschel has a much more <laughs> um, close relationship to the Jackalope. But, I mean, they both had their part in that <laughs> scenario. By the way, did you, did you already realize that even though Sven has like so many hand trips and Gazelle, he can still get Ash and then stop playing for the next turn? Yep. <laughs> like, <laughs> if he draws into his binny, game is over. Or yeah. Salomon Great Circle. And or any card that does anything with uh, Salomon Greats. And if he does not? Yeah, then he... Thomas Rose, the most German player. <laughs> yeah, yeah! Der Thomas! Yep. Ein echter Pfundskerl. Mm. He is, he is indeed. And um, he took his jacket off for, <laughs> for round seven now. So when we saw, oh, when did we have him on? We had him in round two, I guess. The Ash Blossom. Oh, and this like, like now Thomas can't even play in the next turn because like he... <laughs> <laughs> Look at that smile from get... Thomas. That's just... Yeah, <laughs> that's a sad smile. Yeah, definitely. And and Sven is smiling in a much more happy way. Yeah, he's gonna be seven zero, not eight zero, by the way. <laughs> seven zero in like the most prestigious tournament. Did you top deck Salmon Great Circle? <laughs> oh, oh, damn. So, do son. you use Ash on that? You should actually, yep. because it's like honestly, it's kind of likely that your opponent has a brick Nothing. for the rest of his hand, yeah. <laughs> like, but he does have Gazelle. Look at, look at Thomas, he's shaking his head. <laughs> of yeah. course you have Gazelle. Nah, course, he, he offers him the handshake. handshake, like this is over, honestly. But Thomas Rowe is one of the nicest guys. He's very calm, he's very patient. We talked for a bit in... Uh, Dusseldorf, maybe? Uh, no. Um, Milan? The, that one, uh, Euros. Oh, that was Berlin. Yeah, yeah we, had, we had a little national champion talk. <laughs> No, right. What, was it Berlin this year? No, it was Utrecht, right? I think it was Berlin. Oh, yeah, right. It was, it was, it was, was in the, the Hotel Estrella. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, right. Utrecht is going to be it this year. Yeah, exactly. 